everybody. I'm Brandon Peace. This is Turkey Leg TV. <laughs> I've been gone for a couple weeks. People made anything. But, uh, I'm fixing to change that. Today, we're going to be building a pen, or making a pen, handcrafting a pen with a lathe. Uh, today's sponsor is my family. Uh, we got Christmas money, so what with Christmas money, I got Christmas tools. So, without further ado, let's get to work. Alright, so this is going to be the wood I'm using. I'm using a Coco Bolo wood. It's nice. It's smooth. It's delicious. Yes, it is. All right, moving on. We're going to be using a standard gold set pin. So, you're going to see the gold ring in the middle. You're going to see the gold tip and the gold uh, clip for, you know, if you want to put it in your shirt, you want to put it in your pocket, or you just want to wear it on the table. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to look delicious. We're going to have fun building it. Next thing I have to do is I have to take out the two brass rods from the inside of the container and measure them to our piece of wood. What it should do is I'm going to measure it, cut it off, and then I'm going to cut the wood in half so that I have two equal pieces that I can then drill a hole and put the uh, brass rods through. Uh, let's do a little time lapse on that so that you're not sitting around doing nothing. That was a short time lapse, but I thought I'd show you kind of the next step, just a little beginner process. And so I don't have a reciprocating saw yet or a saber saw. I'm just going to have this bad boy right here. So I'm going to start setting time lapse. Legs cut out. The next thing to do is to um, find the middle of the blank, which I'll show you how, and then drill it in our handy dandy drill press. I also want to give this time for a shout out to uh, one of my other sponsors, uh, Jonathan Peace, my brother, uh, and Ariel. They gave me this badass camera mount. You're going to be seeing a lot of different angles, angle of the dangle, with this bad boy. Alright, so I just drew our. Okay, well, you can kind of see it. Our scribe line. We did a little X so that we know where to use our 1 4th millimeter drill to drill our hole so that we can have room for our brass fittings. All right. All right. Little minor issue. The drill bit we were using was too small. I could never get the brass rods in there. So I cut away from camera for a little bit and I figured it all out. So now we have a brass rod that fits in there smoothly and so all we had to do is uh, super glue it in. Alright on to camera angle number three. So we have our brass pipes fitted. I'm going to tape the ends off and super glue these things. So let's get to doing that. Obviously, tell if you can see that those holes aren't very lined up well, and I will fix that on my next pin I build. You know, it's a learning process. We got some stick fast, ka thick, mm. ka thick, ka thin. Oh, ka thin. It is ka thin, <laughs> ka thin. Oh, a little test. Shoot. Handy dandy Corman scissors. I'll put some gloves on. As Michael Jackson does, just one. Okay. 
Jesus Christ. I have super glue all over this hand. And I did not want the second one that we are making. All right, let's see how that turns out. All right, so the super glue is pretty set right now. I'm going to grind till we can see brass on both sides. And applying pressure. Let's hit the time lapse. That we have our blocks drilled in sand. It's time to get the big boy over here. Let's get him. It's my lathe. Yes. It works like a charm. Alright, let's set it up. Alright, so I kind of skipped ahead and this is my first time setting this up on my brand new lathe. So I saved you all the hassle of me trying to figure out the dimensions and everything because it was a pain in my arse to get working. But let me show you the first time I turn it on. Oh yes, that is beautiful. All right, let's get, uh, let's get our turning tools and uh, let's start cutting out a pin. So first what I'm gonna try doing is knocking off the bulk of it to get it rounded. So I'm gonna do a few seconds of you seeing in real time me knocking some bulk off. And then uh, of course, we're going to time lapse. It's time for the time lapse. All right, so as you see, it's pretty round, right? It looks pretty good. <laughs> I like the stuff. So, I think next what I do is I'm gonna put a little, uh, you know. A little magic in it, a little groove in it, a little pizzazz. And, uh, you know, wood turning takes time, so I think what I'm going to do is time lapse until I get some more, you know, detail put into it, and you'll kind of see because I'm moving slow, so it probably looks like I'm moving at real time. <laughs> I'm gonna do three lines, one line. This basic setup right here, I got the basic outline of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with some sandpaper now. I'm gonna move my, move this kind of out the way. Just kind of move it over there for now. So I can get my hands in here. I'm gonna do three in the back. When I'm done sanding, they'll stay there. Now I can use me all hands. Let's see if we can make the thing look better.
So, so far, it is looking pretty nice and smooth. I'm gonna go to now a 220 grit finish and start sanding it. The more I sand it in the higher grit I go, the smoother and shinier it's gonna be. Alright, so next thing I gotta do is 220. You go higher, 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 and then put a polish, and then you will see my final product. Assemble the pin. That should be about it. First thing we're gonna put on is the tip. Today's finish is a nice gold. So I'm gonna get it in there. I'm gonna set it all up. I'm gonna pull back on it a little more. Actually, yeah, no. I'm gonna get it in there. Slowly. Tightening until it's fully in. And bada bing, bada boom, there is our first part. Let's do the same thing with the end. And on the end, we have our clip and our cap. The clip and the cap. That's so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this through so that when you have the pin and you wanna put it in your pocket. All right, back onto our mini vise. And we're just slowly pushing it in. Don't want to over tighten because then you mess up the finish. And boom, that's another one. It looks beautiful. It's on there. It's gorgeous. Next is the piece to Rosie Stars. Remember, I haven't done this in like, you know, a long, long time. So for this, we're going to come over here. I'm gonna put the spinning mechanism in there so that when you put the pin through like this. You get the point, you saw it. The middle comes on. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. Give me a minute. Let me appreciate this pin. And boom. Boom! We have ourselves a pin. Beautiful, beautiful pin. That's it for me, guys. I'm signing off. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. And you know what? Here's a little uh, slow-mo of this beautiful new pin. Ya yeah, boy.